Louisiana Beer Reviews, why has Stefaner Heffa Weiss Beer? It so rolls off the tongue. I know I'm not saying that right. It's it's a uh, wheat beer with um, yeast. Vice beer. Okay, vice beer. Brewed and bottled by uh, the State Brewery of Bavaria. So it's a government-owned brewery, actually. Hmm. Now, some interesting facts. Here, you can hold this bottle up if you don't mind. Show it. Um, this is 5.4% alcohol. It has a 14 IBU rating, so it's not too bitter. The brewery was established in 1040. The world's oldest brewery. AD 1040 in Bavaria, which at the time was part of the Holy Roman Empire at the monastery. In 1803, the government of Bavaria seized the monastery, and it's been a government-owned property since. It gets a most excellent rating on the Beer and Me website. It gets a world-class rating on Beer Advocate, and it gets a 99 out of 100 on Rate Beer. What is the purity law of oh, 1516? That's a German law that says all beer can only be made with water, barley, malt, hops, and yeast. No corn or rice ad adjuncts. Hmm. It has to be hmm. pure. Hmm. Okay, uh, so it shows a crown with two lines. Of course, this Bavaria has not been a kingdom since 1918. Uh, Hefe Weiss beer, Bavarian style. Sorry, sorry, it's not you, I promise. Imported by Total Beverage Solution, Mount Pleasant, Pleasant, South Carolina. I'm gonna have to look that website up. I'm curious to see what Total Beverage Solution brings into the country. All right. Which country is it where they drink the beer warm? Ireland? Well, apparently in some countries in Europe, they don't make it ice cold. They don't serve ice cold. All right. Good go. Okay. Got a lot of smoke on there. I don't know if that's showing up. Ooh. Careful, it's going to... Hold that. Mm -hmm. I broke my nice wheat glass. I've been breaking all my glasses lately, and it's got me very angry. All right. I know, it's incredible. All right, so Ow. this beer has an incredibly thick, fluffy head, right? Yes, it's very... Pillowy head, mm -hmm. I think you'd say. And a hazy, what you call it, yellow yeah. appearance with a whole lot of bubbles streaming up. An incredible amount of mm -hmm. streaming bubbles. Super carbonated. Wow. Okay, let's go with the... Smell test. You okay? I'm not picking up much but water. Are you picking up a strong aroma? I'm not. Not a strong one, but um... Maybe a little bread? I don't know, it's hard to say. It's very little... subtle. Yeah, a little fruity. It maybe just it's the color is influencing oh, me, but it reminds me of wrong, really subtle fruit. Now watch, let's go with the taste. Oh sorry, I tasted it, which might have. Okay, it's typical for these half of ice beers. Um, you get that banana flavor, that coriander. Or clove. Really strong banana. And yeah, it's kind of weird, but I mean, it's not bad. It's just odd. That comes from the that comes from the yeast. No. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. It has a white bread flavor, sort of like that. Um. It's kind of flat, like. Flat. <sighs> it's carbonated. Is this stuff? Is? Okay, not not flat. Um, you mean dull? Yeah. I mean, it's really smooth, which is nice. It's just kind of... Well, this beer gets some of the highest ratings oh, man, on I'm the, going beyond the world head. wide web, but you're not under any obligation to rate it high. Okay. Um, it's refreshing. Let's see. Bananas. 
Always bring a banana to a party, Rose. Okay. If you get that reference, write it down and all. All right. Now, hold on. I'm swishing the yeast around. It's going to bring up a lot of cloudiness in there. Watch. Okay. So what is this doing? What are you... See all that yeast coming in there? That glob? Look, you can even see chunks of it floating to the bottom. Mmm. See that? Chunky yeast. See those chunks? Globs? Be, that's wonderful. That's supposed to give it a real good flavor. Look at all of it running out. I mean, it's incredible. It's really, sm like, the head is really, it's pretty smooth. Yeah, like a, like silky a head. Wintry terrain. Velvety head, I guess you'd say. Vel velvety. That's good. Okay. Well, I'm not a big wheat beer person, per to tell you the truth, but uh, as far as a wheat beer, I like it. What? No, I'll just, no way. You'll watch the video. Yeah. Well, it's good. It's yeah. It, it's it's easy to drink, but it's not bland. I don't like to drink wheat beers. Oh yeah, look, it got a lot. The color is different. See, mm -hmm. it just got more orange. That's mm -hmm. just yellow because of all that yeast. And you can see the little particles in there. And then there's not much, as much bubbles drying up. Can I try it with the yeast? Go ahead. A little spicier with the yeast. Um, I find wheat beers are better to drink by themselves. I tried drinking some wheat beer, I think it was Paul Honor, maybe, or something like that, with uh, food, and it just threw the taste of the food off. So, because it's got that, that, you know, banana and. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think clove. it's. But it's good alone. It's kind of like its own spicy drink. What? I don't think it's my favorite. I don't know. It's it's not a bad beer. Like I mean, unbiased, I can tell that it's a good beer. Just personally. It's like that. It's not what I prefer. Moon, moon, but it doesn't have the orange peel in it. The, the orange. Yeah, the it's kind of like kind of blue. Because a lot of times people put orange peel in this. Mm-hmm. Not me, but um. Let me give it another gulp, and I'll, I'll give it a rating. Um, I'll give it a B. It's good. Let me, let me see. Oh, it's strong. For beer overall, I'll give it a B. For wheat beer, in the style, I guess it's an A. And I'm trying to be fair because I don't really like wheat beer that much. But it's got a lot more taste than, say, that Vito wheat, which is, well, that's different because that's a lager wheat beer. This is an American ale. American beer, too. I right, got some good American wheat ales. Anyway, <clears throat> I'll say B. And then for the style, A. Excellent for the style. And I'm going to... You know, so they say lay bon temps relay, let the good times roll. The <coughs> Saints won. That's I'll give it a B minus since questions. you asked. But I'm sorry, I apologize. I don't want this to run too long. A B minus so you say They're good. They're okay, y'all are okay. So okay. you say good but just so just Yeah, just because I'm just not good. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a B minus. Not like a particularly low minus, but you know. <laughs> not a particularly low minus. Huh? Well All right. I'm interested. Um, you guys should suggest some good holiday beers because I was talking about reviewing maybe the Abita Christmas Ale. Oh, I got a whole fridge. So of, uh, suggestions Christmas are fun. Beers. You guys want a su suggestion comment box? Yeah, but I don't know if I can get what they suggest. Anyway, okay. I'm gonna end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans and go to the LSU football game. Guten Tag.